whatever profit you might have received from me is a gift to God. Then he need not honor his father or mother. Thus you have made the commandment of God of no effect by your tradition. Hypocrites. Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you saying, These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Bwana sifiwe. Maneno ambayo tumeyasoma, and in this chapter, a number of things will come out. Um, the first one is the traditions of men um, that are in, uh, engraved ama zinaingizwa katika ibada yetu. Jabu rapiri utakaro liona ni what I would call um, the matters of the heart. Ya kwamba, uh, CO2 ibada itokayo kwa moyo, bari pia tutaona uh, maneno ambayo yanatoka dani ya moyo. Thereafter, we shall be able to look and see um, about persistence and, uh, and, and, and the woman ambaye anamuomba aweze kumponya muanawe. And we will pick several lessons from there. The first thing that I want us to think about is it is very easy for traditions to be introduced katika ibada yetu na hizo traditions ikachukua nafasi ya muongozo wa roho mtakatifu. Na maneno tunayo yaona hapa utarealize ya kwamba hawa hawamwabii Yesu ya kwamba wanafunzi wako wanavuja sheria ya Mungu. Wanamwabia Yesu ya kwamba wanafunzi wako wanavuja zile traditions na mitindo ambayo wazee wetu wameweka. And what had been there ni ya kwamba God had given the law and the things ambazo zilihitaji kufuatiliwa. On top of those laws, wazee wa siku zile, the elders now, the scribes and the Pharisees, pia waliketi chini and they came up with traditions. Mambo ambayo walihitaji watu wafanye. And what they used to do is that at some point, the, 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 the traditions, the, the customs of the elders were regarded as the supreme law. Ya kwamba, hizi dizo razima sifuatwe. Unaweza hata kufuja sheria ambayo Mungu ameiweka lakini lazima ufuate hizi ambazo ni traditions ambazo walikuwa wameziweka. The danger with this ni ya kwamba traditions hizi zilikuwa zimeegezwa kwa karibu sana na amri ambazo Mungu alikuwa amezitoa. Whether we are talking about the the law about um, uh, purification and uh, and cleanliness and all that and defilement that ukiguza hiki unakuwa defiled na lazima uoge ufanye hili so they would tie them close to those and then they would now become traditions of men but the question the problem came in when those traditions went or prevented it was weird kuweza kutekereza mausia ya mungu katika maisha yao and when we look at this and think of our day because traditions are not bad in, 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 in themselves. But if they do what? Kama zitazuia, if they inhibit, kama zitazuia, um, kutembea na kuongozu anaye roho mtakatifu, then kuna kuwa na maswari kwa hizo traditions. Bwana sifiwe. Kama zitazuia, kuongoza watu katika ibada, abayo ni ibada kamiri na thabiti, traditions hizo zinakuwa hazina manufaa kwa nini kwa sababu traditions huwa zinatengenezwa within contexts ya kwamba najaribu kutafuta jina la Kiswahili ya traditions ni mitido ni mitido eh eh ni no si yoge juu ya utamaduni naongea juu ya ya naongea juu ya mitido ways of doing things not related to, I'm not talking about culture and I'm talking about mitido the way of doing things to to kigia tunaigiaga hii mrago bwana asifiwe ni mitido ya kutenda mambo and um, we have we have some churches you know sometimes we think ya kwamba sisi hatuko 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 watu wa methods lakini imetaratara but you realize tunaweza kuwa watu wa methods hata kuliko wale wa methods Unajua Methodist Church inaitwa Methodist kwa sababu of methods. Ni mutaratara, ni kanisa la mutaratara. Ama haujaijua? 
Yakoba the word Methodist inamaanisha method, inamaanisha mutaratara. Yakoba mambo yao inafanyagwa na mutaratara. So wakajiita we are the Methodist church. Tunafanyaga mambo namna hii. And there are many other churches that have such methods. You know, I've participated in quite a number of churches um, uh, ordinances, whether PCA or ACK or, uh, or such, whether ni katika arusi zao, whether ni katika um, 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 other, other um, uh, worship they are doing. And they are very methodical. The way they move, the way they do things. And sometimes I've been invited even as a minister. And you know, like when you go to the PCA, um, or the other day I was at ACCNS and the rest, kuna jia, lazima kabla mweda ibada mweda vestry. Kuna vire mambo yatafanywa kule vestry. Kuna vire nani atabeba bibiria ongoze. Na mtafuatana na mna gani na huwedi bere ya yuri anatakuwa kuwa bere. Na mna fika. Na ibada ikiisha, hamuanzi tu kusalimiana. Lazima murudishe kirekanero vestry. Na irudishwe in a certain method. That is what I'm talking about. Ni mitido ya, ku, ya kutekeleza mambo. Na nikasema ya kwamba, eh? Ni? Desturi. Eh, yeah, eh, eh, desturi, eh, eh. Nini muna jua kiswa hili. Eh, ina, ina kivya hiyo. Ni, ni desturi. Na kila mahali, kuna desturi zake. Wana sifiwe. Eh, hey, na kweli ni hiyo mzee. Unakuwa kabere hivyo, eh? <laughs> eh, hey, ni desturi. Kila mahali, hata kwako kuna desturi. Hata kwako kuna desturi. Na kuna mabu ambayo, nikiona haija fanyika, unashidwa is there. Wana sifiwe. Ya kwa ba, ni, nikifika hivi, kuna yare mazoea. Abayo, maybe watoto wagu wa mezoea. Wan, vi, ni vipu wanavyo ni pokerea. Ninapo wa muka wanasikia ni mefugua mlago wa bedroom. Kuna vire, na, nikiona haifanyiki, na, na, is, there, is there something? Praise the name of the Lord. Na desturi kama navyo sema, hutengenezwa katika mandhari fulani in a certain context. Na kuna sababu zake kwa nini natengenezwa. I remember when I was a young man and I was listening to Miles Munro the first first times uh, I had just finished high school ile kusikiza una strain kusikia hiyo kizungu lakini uisikii vizuri lakini unajaribu kusikiza karibu ikikupita unarudisha kidogo unaenda ukisikiza pole pole I remember listening to Miles Munro and he was talking about traditions na akasema ya kwamba there was this woman ambaye alikuwa anaenda sokoni ananunua nyama ananunua kinofu ama ni mnofu mnofu wa nyama mguu mzuri anaenda anakata ki, kipande cha ile nyama anatupa alafu anapika hii nyingine na wanakula and the husband aka decide akaona hii tabia imeendelea sana ni desturi yake akamuuliza kwa nini kila wakati ukinunua nyama lazima ukate almost a quarter of it na unatupa akamwambia niliona mama yangu akifanya hivyo na kwa hivyo na mimi nikaanza kufanya hii hivyo naye huyu mzee akaenda kwa mother in law akamuuliza kwa nini ukinunua nyama huwa unakata sehemu yake unatupa akasema na mimi nilimuona mama yangu akifanya hivyo na kwa hivyo na mimi nafanyaga hivyo akaenda kwa shosho ya, ya mkewe akamuuliza mnaponunua nyama kwa nini mnakata sehemu moja mnatupa shosho yake akamwambia ni kwa sababu wakati ule siku na vitu viwili siku na na no three things one ile nyama ilikuwa inauzwa hiyo size sokoni hawaga niuzia kidogo kuliko hiyo japo la pili siku na pani inaitwa nini kwa Kiswahili pani ile ya kupika rugio ah, hapo hamjui sasa ah kube so ni hiyo ni hiyo ya kupikia <laughs> siku na kubwa na kwa hivyo kwa sababu hii nyama yote nimeuziwa na siwezi uziwa na haiwezi toshea ninaikata na kwa sababu sikuwa na fridge ya kuiweka basi ilibidi ni tu Are you getting what I'm saying? That it is started with the context this person hawezi nunua dogo hana eh, ki, ni kipikio hana rogeo <laughs> ya kutosha kupika yote na hana refrigerator ya kuiweka kwenye fridge lakini huyu mtoto wake alipoona inavyofanywa bila ya kutafiti sababu za lile jabo akachukua hiyo desturi na huyu mwingine sasa huyu mwingine ako na opportunity ya kununua ile kidogo anataka ako na opportunity ya kununua rogeo kubwa ako na opportunity ya kona freezer anaweza weka lakini kwa sababu kuna desturi 
aliona ikifanywa anakata anatupa pesa zake na hajui ni kwa nini so traditions are, are they are contextual na usipoelewa zinatoka wapi unapata ya kwamba unaweza kuiga desturi ambazo hazina hazina manufaa yoyote kwako na pia zina zina ku disadvantage na katika kanisa kuna desturi nyingi ambazo hazija ongozwa na hili neno we picked them tuli tulikuja kanisani tukaokoka tukakuta watu vile wanavyofanyaga mambo tukaanza kufanya mambo hivyo na tuko shy ku question na kuuliza why do people do things this way bwana asifiwe kwa nini kila ibada watu wakifika wanaanza na maombi wakimaliza maombi wanaenda praise and worship wakimaliza praise and worship wanaomba tena wakimaliza kuomba wanatoa sadaka wakimaliza kutoa sadaka wanatangaziwa wakitangaziwa mhubiri anasimama anahubiri akimaliza kuhubiri wanaomba wanaenda nyumbani nani alisema lazima ibada ifanywe namna hiyo bwana asifiwe ni desturi ni tradition tulipata na maybe wale walianza kuna sababu kwa nini walianza hivyo maybe waliona sadaka lazima tutoe kabra watu neno halida neno kwa sababu neno likinenwa mhubiri aende sana watu wengine huenda nyumbani na hatutaki watu waende na sadaka na kwa lazima tutoe sadaka kabla mhubiri anene ili watu and i have found places where they have even questioned announcements na wanasema ya kwamba tukitangaza matangazo kabla ya neno tunaweka mambo kwa mawazo ya watu yanayoweza kuwazuia ku concentrate kwa neno kwa hivyo tutakuwa tukitangaza baada ya neno ama sadaka itakuwa ikitolewa huko mwisho so unapata and when sometimes you question these you find you can come even into conflict with people but one of the key things we must ask ourselves as we keep traditions and these methods ni mambo mawili matatu japo la kwanza ni hizo traditions hizo methods ambazo tunaweka zinatunufaisha kivipi katika enzi ambayo tunayoishi na sana sana katika ku cultivate ama kuwaleta watu karibu sana na Mungu tusije tukawa na traditions na mitindo na desturi katika u, 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 um, u ibada zetu ambazo haziongezi faida katika kuwaleta watu karibu sana na Mungu and i want to encourage you because i do that myself i question traditions and i have questioned sometimes they have landed me in trouble sometimes they have been taken well praise the name of the lord sometimes they have been opposed but i question traditions even within our own church and i ask why do we do it this way praise the name of the lord and, and without any prejudice like in our, in our church and you realize in most of our churches and i have prob- no problem with them the elders and the pastors sit here hapa bere wakiangalia watu and i realized at some point watu wakikaa hapa wengine wanakuwa na uzingizi mingi kama ile yangu maana mimi uzingizi nilipewa bila kupimiwa. Bwana asifiwe. Na si vibaya, si kuna watu wana struggle sana na uzingizi. Sasa mimi nikipewa ni complain kwa nini? Wewe ulipewa ama haunaga? Au nikugawie? Oh oh, wewe oh, inakuwa na shida. Lakini uzuri wako we, ikikuwa na shida ukiamka saa tisa unasomaga Biblia sana na na sasa unakuwa na hekima kubwa. So yako inafanya kazi na wewe. Mimi mi ya hey hata hapa mkiwa nikizinzia saa zingine msini hukumu si mimi ni mwanadamu kama wanadamu wengine ni pasta agashoga kwani pasta ana mwili kama nyinyi so unapata watu wamekaa hapa na mtu huyo ni kama mbwa ameangalia watu sasa so, unajiuliza why are we doing this to people praise the name of the lord and, and you have to question some of these traditions and ask yourself how how much value is it adding the way we do church and i want to encourage you question even us tuulize kwa nini tunafanyaga mambo namna hii bwana asifiwe ama kwa nini tusifanye mambo namna hii kama mmoja wenu akaniuliza siku moja kwa nini tusikuage na hemu katika ibada na nikafikiria na hemu ni mzuri na si sasa tunafurahia kuwa na hemu every sunday if you go to other our churches they don't have hymns but we sing hymns so you have ask ask questions even in your own home look at some of the traditions ask because there are some traditions that really add value 
There are some traditions that, but there are others that will, um, will reduce value. And here they are asking Jesus, why are your disciples not following the traditions of the elders? Mana walisema, lazima mtu aoshe mukono kabra ya kukura. And there was even a way of washing the hands. There was the way the hands were supposed to be washed. And if you did not wash them that way, you were forced to repeat. But the question that was there is, why was it adding value at that particular moment? Did it have any spiritual significance? Of course, one of the things that has happened early in the days, uh, nowadays, when I, when, I, when I personally, because I personally don't like ties at all, I don't like ties at all. This tradition of a tie is a lot of Arafu unapata we, pastor peke yako diyo kona tie, hakuna mshirikata mmoja hakona tie. Sasa unashidua, hata influence yako si, si mzuri. Kama unavaga tie kila sade, na hakuna mshirika anakufuwa, anaonaga vile unavaga tie ni mzuri ya vaye kama wewe. Wana asifiwe. Na, na saa zikine ikanitea shida sana, siku mwoja mpaka nika, nika itua kwa ofisi, nika abiwa. Lakini wala wali nita kwa ofisi siku hizi hawafagi tai. Hata wawo wali kuja ukwade uwe. Wana asifiwe. Because it's a tradition. So somebody is insisting. I, I remember one time I was told, a, 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 a guy, alikuwa mevaa shati ya nyesi ya tai. Ya meda sokoni, siku yake ya arusi. Gashati kana kaa vizuri, kana kona tukara stofauti. Na alikuwa wakaniza ya, 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 ya jitegemea. I, PCA. Akaenda, akaabiwa hawezi fanya arusi hapa bila tai. Unajua vesti ni kuna kuga na tai huko. Akafugwa. Na nisiku yake ya arusi, na shati si ya tai. Sao unajuriza. This is it destu, is it desturi ambazo tunaweka. Zinaongeza faida gani. Wana sifiwe. And what level of emphasis should we put on them? Iri tusije tukatilia mkazo sana hizo traditions na hatutili mkazo ule mwito na ile, le, ile lengo wabalo limetuleta pamoja katika ibada zetu na katika kumuabudu mungu na yare mambo wabalo tunayawafanya. Na pia tusije tukaodoa nafasi ya roho mtakatifu kuwa muongozo katika maisha yetu. Bwana sifiwe. Na zaidi ya hilo kuangalia neno na mungu linasema nini. Kwa hivyo na jiuriza ni faida gani hizi traditions zinaongeza katika ibada yetu. Jambo la pili zinauiana kivipi na neno hili takatifu ambalo tumepewa na tunalisoma. Na jambo la tatu zinauiana kivipi na muongozo wa Roho Mtakatifu ambao tumepokea. Praise the name of the Lord. So we don't become keepers of because what happens is that when you become keepers of traditions at the expense of obeying God like Jesus is saying here, it births a empty religion. Praise the name of the Lord. It births people who are religious. Ambao, sade lazima aede kanisani. Lazima aibe. Lazima afanya hiri. Lazima, and, and that is why I will never try to compare us and the Muslims. I hear people comparing. Munaonaga wa islamu. Ata akiwa wapi. Lazima aombe. Ata akiwa wapi. I would never compare that. Kwa sababu yeye, anaongozu wana traditions. And they might be doing that from an empty shell. Ha, hakuna, hakuna uwepo wa mungu dani yao. Lakini kwa sababu kutoka akiwa mtoto, amefunzwa ile desturi, anaweka ile desturi, pasipo na husiano. Bwana sifiwe. Lakini sisi ambao tumeitu katika wokovu huu, lazima tuongozwe na husiano tulio nao na kristo. Sio kwa sababu ni tradition abayo imewekwa, na razima tuitekereze then if we are doing it out of an emptiness of our hearts but we are being driven by a relationship about tuko nayo na mungu and so you realize for them it is traditions that they are keeping maybe they don't even know they don't even know why they are praying at 9am why they are praying at noon why they are praying at 3 why they are praying at 4 why they, are, they don't know but you might realize why those, how those timings were put was again contextual. Was con like the nine o'clock prayer, the Jews desired to go and play before they have breakfast. So they, they, they thought, Nisagani ambayo si mapema sana, na si rate sana, ambayo tunaweza omba kabra ya tukule. 
So wakaweka 9 a.m. You'll find other people who will tell you 3 p.m. ni kama dio time ile Mungu anakuaga ameamka. Kusikia maombi. What they don't realize is that 3 p.m. ha kuingine ni mchana watu wako kazini na Mungu wao ni yule yule wetu tu. So anaamka saa 9 na sina shida na wale watu wanaamka saa 9. Hata saa zingine kuna mtu huwa ana nifresh saa 9 ni amke ni obe lakini si amka. Wale wanaamka saa 9 sina shida. But wake up at 3 because that is what works for you. It is not because that is when God is more alert. At wakati huo katika liam ya unasikia and it is not in scripture. Sijui kama whether you have heard those things. At 3 a.m. ndio mapepo yanakuaga sasa yako kazini lazima ukikosa kuamka 3 a.m. ukiamka 6 utakuta yalishaamka na yakapata yakapata kiamsha kinywa. These are traditions of men. Praise the name of the Lord. So keep them because they work for you. That at that time I'm alert, I am sober, I am fresh, I can read this word and understand before shughuli nyingi za siku zini. Lakini si ati wakati huo ndio Mungu anakusikia sana. Kuna wengine 3 a.m. wali 3 a.m. yao hapa ni mchana. Na kwa hivyo hiyo 3 a.m. yao so it, it actually doesn't work. But there are traditions and these traditions can 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 shape a religion for us and once it shapes that religion for us you find we almost have total disregard to the leading of the spirit because this is how we do things we come to church the holy spirit is saying something in terms of certain things but because we want to remain within our methods then we we, we have disregard na muongozo wa roho mtakatifu na kwa sababu kuna wakati mwingine roho mtakatifu atatuongoza sio kama vile ambavyo uh, traditions na desturi zetu zitatuambia. Na Yesu akawauliza, "Why do you transgress the commandment of God because of your tradition?" Na akawapatia tradition moja akawambia, "The commandment of God inasemaga honor your father and your mother." Lakini kulikuwa na one tradition ya wazee hawa. Na hiyo tradition ilikuwa ukiwa na mali na hiyo mali useme ya kwamba nimei consecrate kwa Mungu itakuwa justification usipatie mtu yeyote bwana asifiwe na kwa hivyo wazazi wao wakati mwingine wanakuwa na shida wazazi wao wakati mwingine wanakuwa hawana chakula lakini kwa sababu mtu hataki kusaidia mzazi anamwambia kwamba ile pesa ningekupatia nimeiweka wakfu kwake Mungu but it was a tradition it was not in the scriptures it was not in the laws it was just a tradition that they had come up with and Jesus is simply saying and maybe it's a message to us also that when you don't support when you don't help when you don't start there for your parents you are dishonoring God because God has said you honor your father and your mother and one way to honor them is to ensure they are well taken care of. Bwana asifiwe. Of course we as parents with the wisdom of the word of God we must learn that the word demands that we leave an inheritance for our children and our children children. So that is what we should work towards. But our parents who are in need they need our support. And so these guys would use their traditions not to support their parents. So unapata wazazi wao wanateseka, wanasubuka, lakini wao wanasema kile ningekupatia nime nimeiweka kama kipawa a gift kwake Mungu and so I'm not able to give you. Vazita nawaambia these people um, are hypocrites. They draw near me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me and in vain they worship me teaching us doctrine the commandments of men so two things here number one is uh, something that i taught when we were beginning the book of matthew and i talked about the the the, the sins of the heart dhabi ambazo ni za moyo zinaweza kutodhihirika katika matendo lakini katika mioyo yetu hivyo divyo tulivyo na mungu and i think i had written it was it in last week's um uh, bulletin that God is interested in the intent of the heart. Bwana asifiwe. Mungu anashughulika, anajiuliza ni nini iliyo nia yako ya moyo. 
Wachana na matendo, ni ukweli umesaidia. Ni ukweli umepatia chakura. Ni ukweli umefanya hivi, lakini nia ya kulitekeleza hilo ilikuwa ni gani? Bwana asifiwe. What was the objective of doing that? And so you must always ask yourself the question, why? I think it's actually in today's bulletin. Why do you do th the things that you do? What is the intent of your heart? Because God is judging the intent of your heart. And so they, they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Is your heart near God or is your heart far from God? Is, are your lips speaking worship, but your heart is not worshiping? You must ask yourself, um, what, what, where is your heart? Verse 10. No, the second thing I wanted to, to say is, and in vain they worship me. So in vain means, wananiabudu, lakini ile ibada yao haikubariki. Bwana sifiwe. Wananiabudu, lakini ile ibada yao haikubariki. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu, wanafudisha as doctrines kama, wanafudisha kama um, doctrines na kiswahili tena. As doctrines, the commandments of men. So, wame come up na vitu zao kama wanadamu na wanafudisha hizo ni kama dio ibada ya kweri. And you must ask yourself, the things that you do, are they true worship to God? Or are they traditions that you have picked from men? Are they traditions that you have picked from men? And like I've said, there's two in the contextual. Zinaiza kuwa watu we mutu mwingine alianza kitu kwa sababu ya udhaifu wake. Na we ukaona akifanya, ukasema, hey, na inaonekana hii ni kama dio ya kwa budu. Na ukaanza kufanya hivyo. Bona sifiwe. See, a story is told about a man ambaye walikuwa na gobana sana na, 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 na mke wake. Kwa sababu jirani alikuwa nafungulia mke wake mlango. Every time makipaka, na shuka, na zubuka gali, na kuja na mfungulia mlango. Na, na hui mwana mke na muambia mme wake, sasa, wewe hunipedi. Ufanyai kama fulani, sinuona vila na fungulia mke wake mlango. Then, siku mwaja wakizugumza, wakaliera hizi ya koba, ni gali ya wale inakoga imehalibika, mlango wa yuwezi kufungukia na dani. Mlango wa yuwezi kufungukia na dani. Sa lazima mzea kifusimamisha gali ya shuke, ahede ya fungulia mlango na inje. Praise the name of the Lord. So, there, there are things that we watch men doing. And kube, they are doing them either out of their weaknesses or out of their... And then we think, this is how things ought to be done. And then we pick them up. But they are not genuine worship. Praise the name of the Lord. And my prayer for you is that you'll have such a relationship with God. And out of that relationship, you will realize how do, do we worship? How, how do I worship my God? Praise the name of the Lord. So that you don't do things because you found people doing. You found people every January work on a fasting year 21 days. Na ukasema every January, he dio kitu. In fact, there's somebody who did a God surprise that he poskia me, I'm not doing the 21 days fast at the beginning of the year. Kwa sababu, mutu wa mungu, how? How? Wana sifiwe. I don't know whether I give, I, I, I talked here about when I was at the university and I was, uh, nika chaguri wakua chairman wa the worship committee at the university. Na secretary alipo kuta baibu yagu haina zip akashaga kwa ni mimi nimesijaokoka vizuri chama anaweza kujaye kuaje na bible haina zipu kwa sababu ya traditionally alifunzwa kutunza neno na Mungu ni kuweka zip akakuta nimeshika bible inakaa hivi aka unabebaje bible namna hii kwani iko na nini iko wapi zip yake ai zip akaona kama sijaokoka unawezaje kuwa na bible yenye haina zip be careful that you don't fall in. Mana, where she is coming from, Bible kama haina zip, wewe ni mtu kia resana. We ata utaki kuwa chairman. How? Unazaji kuwa chairman na Bible haina zip. Praise the name of the Lord. These are traditions of men. And there are, there are many, there are, there, are, there are very many traditions of men, ways of doing things. Praise the name of the Lord. The other, tra the other traditions I've seen, and, and many of them touch on even giving. Traditions that have crept in. Na zidi haunt watu sana wakati wa COVID. Zidi haunt watu sana kwa sababu wali, walikuwa wamefundisha watu ya kwamba tithe 
lazima iletwe kwa miguu ya apostle so tithe inapokelewa so wengine mweke sadaka huko wale wako na tithe mpage laini ipokelewe then covid ikakuja haiwezi pokelewa na si uliniambia hili barikiwe lazima ipokelewe sasa unaniambia nitume na mpesa namna gani na uliniambia lazima nilete kwa miguu ya mtumishi makanisa yakakosa pesa kwa sababu walifunzwa sadaka sadaka ya hiari we kuja uweke hiyo ni sawa unaweza tuma hata na mpesa lakini hii gine ya tithe weka kwa bahasha jo na najua mmeziona mahali najua mmeenda mahali mkakuta ikipokelewa unajua shida yangu sinaga shida kwa sababu ukweli lazima unenwe bora sifiwe so wanakuja wanapokelewa wanabarikiwa wanapokelewa alafu zinaombewa vizuri alafu covid ikakuja sasa so, haziwezi pokelewa na kwa sababu niniambia lazima nikuletee sasa so, haziwezi toa kwa maana nikitoa sita kwa pokea baraka kwa sababu niniambia naweza pokea baraka tu unapoipokea that is the problem when we bring in traditions of men into worship na tunazifanya zinakuwa kama and, and, I've, and I've said traditions are not bad per se and every home has a culture and that culture is made up of kuna zile desturi mimi nikakwambia nikifika nyumbani nikipaka gari hivi Jeremy na Jiana wako hapo kwa mlango wanagoja nizime ijin wafungue mlango wanifungulie hiyo ni tradition ya kwetu na utakiwi kwenda kusikia vibaya na watoto wako kwa sababu wakufungulia gari mlango ya gari wewe unaigiaga kwa nyumba unawakuta wako huko wamewekelea miguu juu ya viti hawakununua wanakuangalia ni kama wanakuuliza ni woka you know hawakulizi hivyo lakini vile wanakuangalia unaona ni kama wanakuuliza ni woka but ni desturi ya kwa ya kwako na kuna de, so kuna na, all of them have some good but we must not emphasize them at the expense of true worship of our god praise the name of the lord and we must not try to mislead people to take our traditions to be what must be done because what happens it will become vain worship it will become a empty religion because people will not meet with christ watakuja wafanye mambo wafanye mambo waibe nyimbo tunaibaga wimbo wa haraka alafu tunaibwa wa pole pole tunasema ni worship tunaoba ni sawa kama inakupeleka kuoba but if you do it you must ask yourself is it working for me je tunaweza ruka ruka ya haraka na tukimaliza tukuta tumeoba unajua kuna watu hawezi oba after wimbo ya haraka haraka kama waibie ya pole pole ni wewe ili wa lakini ukiba hii haraka haraka hawezi ifika maana iliwekwa ndani yao hivyo na sio nyinyi tu hata mimi hustrago na traditions nyingi bwana asifiwe but i want to encourage you sometimes to question traditions what i want to tell you out of experience sometimes they will not earn favor for you sometimes they'll 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 make you get questioned they'll make you get questioned but we must question the status quo we must sometimes ask ourselves why do we do these things the way we do them are they getting us the benefits that we should be getting out of them are they still relevant you cannot do things the way you used to do them in 1979 you want to do them today and expect to in fact they say i don't know whether they say craziness or madness is doing the same things and expecting different results bwana sifiwe maana munda ume umeenda many things have happened technology has come so many things have happened so will we continue sticking on the old methods and ways of doing things no let us be willing to change let us be willing to adopt new ways as long as we are still holding on the core the word of god the leading of the holy spirit and the worship that is true in the presence of god what as if you will because kitabu utapata kuna watu ambao hawaku wana wanaiba mpaka na hizi vyombo maana waliamini ni za disco zinapiga wa huko kwa and it took time to get there are some who still bado hawajawahi kufika bwana asifiwe they still hold on to those things so be able to question such traditions verse 10 when he called the multitude to himself he said to them here and understand not what goes into the mouth defiles a man but what comes out of the mouth that defiles a man then his disciples came and said to him do you know that the pharisees were offended when they heard this saying but he answered and said Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind leads the blind, 
both will fall into a ditch. So we'll, we'll come to the parable. But um, let us look at this final part. So they are offended. And people in traditions will get offended by you when you question them. Especially if their traditions are bazo, has a jengi. Now, Yesu Christo wakawabia ya kwamba, chochote ambacho sio baba yagu waliye panda, lazima kitatolewa. Wana sifiwe. Lazima itangonewa. Na kwa hivyo, the best thing is to align yourself with the Father. Because if you take or partake anything that is not aligned to the Father, that is not, and, and the way to check whether things are aligned to the Father is to study this word. Wana sifiwe. It, it, whatever is preached, ukienda uabiwe there are some generational things that are following you na lazima utoe sadaka fulani ili ziweze kuwa direct with enda kwa neno la Mungu ujiulize kama ziko these are traditions and teachings of men that have come and have been made doctrine ya kwamba mtu akiokoka lazima sasa aigizwe deliverance classes miezi mitatu ili akuwe delivered kabisa kule anatoka kwani Yesu anafanya kazi nusu nusu yani ananiokoa alafu anabakisha tu mizizi tu wengine tumemshida Lazima nipelekwa deliverance class ili tumizizi uso tutolewe. These are, these are traditions of men. Na zimeingia mahali kwingi. If you have to be taken through classes, be taken through classes to be discipled. Because you are a new creation. The, the past is gone and now all you need to be taught is how to live in the newness of life that you have received. You don't need to be taught how to be delivered. You, you, Jesus does it once and for all. And there is nowhere in the Bible we see some demon possessed men about wanakuja kwa Yesu, wanaigizwa krasi ya miezi mitatu kabra ya wakue delivered. Si watamalizi wanaizo demons wakufe. Miezi mitatu. Kabra ukue delivered. Three months. Yesu walikuwa na anabia yo pepo itoke na inatoka inaenda. The person anakuwa free. Praise the name of the Lord. These are the traditions of men that we are talking about. Ya kwamba hili, certain things happen katika maisha yako, razima ufanya kitu, kuna zingine zinasikiaga pesa kuliko zingine, kuna zingine zinasikiaga pesa kiasi flani. They, they, they do not, they should not be there. And he, he is saying, all these things, kama si baba yagu waliye pada, they will be uprooted uh, for God. Akawambia wachana na wao, ama hii let them alone na maanisha nini na Kiswahili Hii let, let them alone si ni wachana na wao Eh ah wachana nao Yaani Yesu alisema wachana na wao They are bride leaders of the bride and if the bride leads the bride both will fall into a ditch what as if we So oh, 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 mahali popote ambapo unaongozwa lazima ufikie Anaye niongoza Naona kama naona ama namna gani? Bwana sifiwe. You are allowed to assess. Hata mimi nikiwa mchungaji wako, angaliaga kama ninaona mahali ninawapeleka. Bwana sifiwe. So the Bible says test every spirit. You are allowed to test. You are allowed to question. You are allowed to look and say waloe sio kama anajua mahali anatupeleka. Huyu atatowagusha kwenye ditch. Ama tunaona kuna vision, we can see where he is taking us check whether the ones who are teaching you know what they are teaching you. Do they understand the word of God? Very, very, very important. Then Peter answered and said to him, explain this parable to us. So Jesus said, are you also still without understanding? Do you not yet understand? And whatever ent that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and is eliminated. You see your process in the yellow but those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart and they defile a man for out of the heart proceedeth evil thoughts murders, adulteries fornications, thefts false witness, blasphemies these are the things which defile a man but to eat with unwashed hearts does not defile a man so he's simply telling them go to the core check exactly what matters to God it is not the physical things that you eat. Ukikula na mikono michafu, ukula hiyo uchafu inaeda kwa tubo ina. Na kwa hivyo, wanashugurika na vitu vya hapa juu sana na kusahau vitu vya vya rohoni, the matters of the heart. Yakoba katika mioyo ya wanadamu, diyo hutoka 
hizi vitu zote na malice na murders na adultery na fornication na theft na false witness na blasphemies hasitoka nai kwa sababu umekula chakula fulani ama umekula ukiwa hujaosha mkono it is because of the meditation of your heart praise the name of the lord on Saturday I was in Joska and I was speaking to them about the words of our mouth and I think I'll bring that message to us one of these Fridays uh, because it is a powerful message with a number of uh, points loaded therein kwa sababu maneno tunayoyanena ni dhihirisho ya vile tulivyo katika mioyo yetu usipofungua mdomo wako hatuwezi kujua wewe ni mtu wa aina gani lakini unapofungua tu mdomo wako unatupatia nafasi ya kutazama moyo wako na kuona wewe ni mtu wa aina gani. Na kwa hivyo lazima uwe mwangalifu sana, unafungua mdomo wako kwa kina nani na unaufungua kusema nini. Regardless of whatever is pushing you to say whatever you need to say. Maana ni dhihirisho ya kilicho katika moyo. Na kwa sababu mdomo who empty kilicho katika moyo, it is impossible even at a duress to give that which is not in the heart. And therefore we don't need sometimes to be so careful about the mouth we need to be careful about the the heart what is the condition of our hearts and, and, and at the beginning we talked about that a lot in chapter 1 to 5 there about verse 21 then jesus went out from there and departed to the region of tyre and sidon so the region of tyre and sidon is a region of gentiles and this is the first time abapo yesu christo anaondoka kati ya wayahudi na, na watu wa the, the Jewish community anaenda into a region that is dominated by the gentiles and behold a woman from Canaan came from that region and cried out to him saying have mercy on me o lord son of david my daughter is severely demon possessed but he answered her not a word so this woman who is a gentile and, and as we go through this, my compulsion is that, not, is that Jesus was not trying to um, deny this woman compassion. Because we know Jesus is this person, abaya anaona watu wakisafa, anakuwa moved na compassion, na anawahudumia, anawaponya, anawafanyia. The case here now looks different. Jesus seems to be treating this woman differently. Sio kama vile aliona mwanamke akienda kumzika mwanawe wa mwisho akamuviwa na compassion akaenda yeye mwenyewe akamguza akamfufua. Here is a woman pleading for mercy. Here is a woman pleading for compassion but Jesus seems indifferent. And I believe the lessons that we are being taught here. Number 1 I believe Jesus knew at the end of it all I'll still do that miracle for this woman. Bwana asifiwe. But out of this experience there are lessons of perseverance that we will learn. Lessons of perseverance ambazo tunajifunza tunapo tunapo enenda katika ile sehemu ya maombi and we are pushing that we don't lose hope. The whole of this week from tomorrow to Friday I'll be on on Family TV and Family Radio and we'll be speaking about how Jesus brings hope in hopeless situations. And I hope you guys will tune in. Na nikimaliza unani encourage, unaniabia na pastor umesema kitu. Hata kama umesikia ni kama sija sema mingi sana. Ama munafikiria ya pastor atakai kutuwa guvu. Kwa na sifiwe. Kuna mara nyingi sana tunahubirigi, unahede ukijiuliza na nimedeliver kweli. Na kweli li hiyo. And then unapata tuka message. Pastor hiyo neno ilikuwa ya guleo. Ah, unasikia. Eh. Praise the name of the Lord. Pastor azora hitajigi encouragement pia. Wana vujikaka mioyo. Wana shidagwa. Hii hudumba tunafanyaga. Inaretaka tofautu kwa maisha ya watu. Ama watu wana nizikizaga tuna. Sasikile ni vizuri kuwabia mchungaji. Because he is human. Iyo siyati si ni, ni, ni naroho sana. Ni hile tu kusaidia the human nature yake. 
izije ika overtake ile 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 ina ya ya, ya spirit bona sifiwe so encouragement si baya so from 6 6 am to 7 am um family tv kwa kwa tv yako family radio ni 103.9 kwa radio yako na you can even download the app ukienda um, app store utafute family media there is an app uki download you can watch or listen to radio na hata ukiwa na simu yako kama iko na fm radio 103.9 Um, if you if you listen in nitashukuru bwana asifiwe hiyo imetoka wapi so what i was saying is that for this woman jesus knew that in me i believe he is all knowing he knew that i will heal that girl but he is taking this woman through a process that is a process of trying her faith but i think he also knew that this woman is not going to give up on her faith and i believe it's a lesson to many of us and it is graduated what happens the first time is that jesus remains silent praise the name of the lord how many have times have you prayed and god has remained silent if you are like me there are many times na wakati mwingine hatuwezi jua ni kwa nini jua ta danieli alipoomba siku 21 persistently bwana nataka kusikia sauti yako Nataka uja uniambie kile kinacho. Nataka Bwana unisaidie. Persistently for 21 days. The answer had been released, but there was silence in the realm of the spirit. And the silence was the age ambayo alikuwa ameachiliwa, alikuwa anapambana na maroho huko kwa hewa. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. That could be one of the reasons, but there are many times when here we are told the woman and this woman cries out analia kabisa anamwambia um, have mercy on me o lord son of david my daughter is severe hai kona mapepo tu yanamsukuma sana but he answered her not a word he answered her not a word when there is no word that is coming when there is no answer to your prayers when you are crying and the heavens are silent what do you do do you give up do you stop learn from this woman she never stopped praise the name of the lord she never stopped she continued and his disciples came and urged him saying send her away for she cries out after us kilio chake kikawagadhabisha mpaka wanafunzi but for those who interpret the the greek um, writing here it is not that they were saying chase her away without walikuwa namwambia siumu si mfanyie hii muujiza aondoke awache kutusubua praise the name of the lord so she never stopped but he answered and said i was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of israel he stated a fact that becomes important because he has gone to tyre and sidon a place of the gentiles lakini ameenda tyre and sidon after being rejected kwa wayahudi na kile anachowaambia wanafunzi wake ni kwamba the timing of god now is that i came for the jews i came for the house of israel about walichaguliwa na mungu si kuja kwa sababu ya mwanamke huyu and the question is did this woman give up after hearing that are you going to give up after hearing and it may not even come to from christ himself voices of you are undeserving in this kama kuna kizungu kama hiyo yakoba how deserve kile ambacho unahitaji kutoka kwa Mungu unasikia kwamba you 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 don't deserve you are nothing you don't merit then she came and worshiped him saying lord help me it is the persistence of this woman for me it is the persistence of this woman for me that i'm called and, and you see jesus amefunza mambo ya persistence sana sana Luke 18 anaongea juu ya persistence there's a, there, are, there are two parables about persistence about the man who went to borrow bread at night na yule mtu akamwambia kwamba ah mimi na watoto wangu tumelala hatuwezi kuamka kukupa mkate mafunzo ya Kristo ni ya kwamba katika uombezi persistence is a principle we must adhere to bwana asifiwe We may not understand why he may be silent. 
We may not understand why we are receiving voices of an undeserving, our undeserving nature. But we must continue persisting at the place of prayer. We must never give up. So she, she was talking maybe from far. Now she comes near, kneels near Jesus and says, Lord, help me. My brother and my sister, no matter how things are, no matter how they have deteriorated, never leave the feet of Jesus. Bwana sifiwe. Usuwahi yodoka kwa sababu kuna wengine wetu shida zikikithiri sana. Mateso ya kiwa ni mengi sana. Badala ya kukaa na kuendelea kulilia katika miguu yake Kristo, tunaondoka katika hiyo miguu tunaenda kulilia kuingine. Usiondoke kwenye miguu yake Kristo. No matter there is silence, whether there is silence, whether he, there are no answers that are coming, whether the situation is becoming dire, if you have to die, die at the feet of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Never leave, never leave home, never leave Christ, never leave mahali ambapo umeitwa kuweza kumwabudu Mungu. Usikose kuja ibada hapa kanisani kwa sababu unafikiri uko na shida nyingi sana. Kuja na hizo shida zote katika ibada yake Kristo ukimwabudu mizigo inaweza odolewa. Wana asifiwe. Come with all those troubles. Persist, remain there. No matter how dire your situation is, don't go out. And many times we go out because the outside seems to offer better solutions for us. Yakoba uko broke, ile broke ya broke. Bora sifiwe. Na unapata ya kwamba kwa sababu ya hiyo kuwa broke na ukosefu, the enemy is beckoning and telling you these are the side. These are the side. Mambo ni mazuri. Bora sifiwe. And you find you fall. After I went to Truth FM and, uh, and, and, and spoke, there's one Saturday, I've, I've gone three times, two times I've spoken about money, but there's one Saturday when I went um, on there, they call it the dating clinic, and I talked about um, money and, uh, and relationships. And at the end of the show, um, the presenter asked me to give out my number, and I gave out my number. And since then, I've got very many cases that 80, but 80-90% of the cases ambazo tume, nimezipata ni cases ambazo watu wako katika distress. Distress kubwa sana, physical violence in relationships walizo ingia dani yake. Na kila wakati nikiuriza, moja anakuambia nilikuja Nairobi College, then wazazi wangu wakakosa karo, na walipo kosa karo, siku wana pesa hata ya kukura na nini, nika huyu mwanaume akaniambia kuja tukaage na wewe maana huna pesa na kwa sababu ya ukosefu wa pesa mimi nika give in nilikuwa nimeokoka nika backslide nikaenda tukaanza kukaa na yeye sasa niko na watoto wawili ananitesa ananipiga ananifanya nini but what drove them there they left the feet of Jesus because of the desperation there was even one man ambaye alikuwa na anateswa na huyu mwanamke na ananiambia huyu mwanamke sioni hata kama ananipenda sana na story yake ananiambia ni ya kwamba ni nilikosa pesa za kulipa nyumba na nini but this lady was working so nikaenda kuishi na yeye and then alipoenda kuishi na yeye sasa ako in, a, in bigger problems distress mental anguish na unapata it is it is the issue that i'm talking about that the 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 world out there away from the feet of jesus is offering things that look like better Ina offer vitu zinaonekana ni kama zitaniodorea distress iwe ni ya fedha ambazo sina iwe ni ya mambo nayo yapitia na kwa hivyo unapata ya kwamba unaodoka katika miguu ya Yesu kwenda kusuruhisha kile ambacho umekuwa ukimlilia Yesu hapa kwa sababu yake unapoenda kule one umesivia relationship yako na Mungu umeodoka nyumbani like i said baada ya kuodoka nyumbani unapoenda pale kwa sababu ya matukio yanayofuatilia unakuwa a slave of that circumstance as a slave of that situation and as a slave of that situation sasa unaanza kuteseka pale na maybe ungesubiri tu kidogo ungepasisi tu kama huyu mwanamke kidogo at the feet of Jesus na kumwambia Yesu kama nitakufa mimi nitakufia hapa kwako bwana sifiwe e, kama nitakufa nitakufia hapa kwako kama nitaishi bila mume nitaishi hapa kwako bila mume kama nitaishi bila mke Yesu mimi nitaka hapa kwako wewe ndio utakuwa ukinionaga hapa bila so mimi nakaa hapa kwako mpaka you come through for me bwana asifiwe a friend of mine uh, yesterday 
uh, no, should be this week somewhere, I can't remember, Naito Bishop Chris Atemo, posted, aka post a lady who has been in his church. And she is 61 years. She has never been married. Aliolewa last weekend. 61. Etagiria mwadhani. Wana sifuye. Ategai. 61. Amefanya kazi mpaka ameritaya from the government. Lakini alikuwa na mgoja buwana. And at 61 years, she wedded. Wana sifuye. Alibaki pale mbiguni kwa yesu. Aki mgoja buwana. But how many of us are able? Praise the name of the Lord. Even in our businesses, in our families, let us let us go there and be like this woman. Let us worship there until he does it. Praise the name of the Lord. But he answered and said, "It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the literal dogs." Sasa apo, Yesu ame ame nena maneno ingine. But of course, you have to understand it in context that the Jews viewed everybody else, the Gentiles and such, as, as dogs, as people who are out there. And so, Yesu anasema, siwezi chukua mkate ya watoto, nipatia mbu wana watoto hawaja shiba. He's talking about the timing. That yes, yes, this gospel will still come to the Gentiles. That was the plan, the eventual plan. But the timing is not yet. Praise the name of the Lord. Mana unajua hata kwenu. Mbu wa yule wenu lazima agepewa chakura. Lakini haku wana, siyo ya likuwa napewa kwanza. Are you getting the analogy? That Jesus is talking about timing. That hata, hata nyumbani, we had dogs abazo zilikuwa zinakaa huko nje. Siku hizi wegine zinakaka kwa nyumba. They are, they, are, they are members of the family. But these ones, tulikuwa tunakura, tunakura. Mbu anajua lazima atapewa food. Lakini atapewa after watoto wa meshi. So Jesus is simply saying, let me now first minister to the Jews, the ones I was sent to. And then I'll come to the Gentiles when the time is ripe. But this woman is persistence. She is not going to give up. And she said to him, yes, ni ukweli hivyo unasema ni mzuri Lord. Yet even the literal dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Uto tu, tumbua tudogo, familia na watoto wanapo kura, na especially watoto, zire vigae vigae zinanguka, wanipataga. So this woman is saying, I know it's not my time, but I want to receive from you. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not leaving. How is your faith? How is it? Do you give up? What reasonings are able to put you away from continually trusting and believing in the Lord? Then Jesus answered and said to her, O oh woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. This is the lesson of this whole story. What does he feel? That your faith must be such that it can withstand resistance. It can withstand any rebuttals that you receive from whoever it comes from. Yakoba, imani nilio nayo dani ya mungu. Mambo vile yanaonekana ni kama haiwezekani. Na vile ninaamini zaidi ndivyo mambo inakuwa mabaya zaidi. Lakini nitashikiria imani na nitaendelea kumwamini Mungu na sitafujika moyo. At the end of the day Christ communicates the lesson that great is your faith. This was spoken to one or two Gentiles by Jesus. And actually at one point with a centurion, he is asking, when, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith? If the Son of Man, if Jesus Christ came to house of worship Kamuru, today, je atapata imani. Atapata imani. Kwa sababu wengi wetu, tuko kanisani, tunafulaha tukimuambudu, kwa sababu hatuja tiwa kwenye mtihani. Bwana sifiwe. Hatuja tiwa kwenye mtihani. Hatuja wekwa kwenye mtihani kujaribiwa kama imani yetu itaweza kusimama. Tunanena maneno ya kutia nguvu. Tunanena maneno ya onekana kama ya naweza songesha mirima na ingie kwenye ziwa. Lakini kire ambacho hakija patikana katika maisha yetu ni kuwekwa kwenye mtihani. Na yawezekana kesho ni mimi 
yawezekana kesho kutwa ni wewe hiyo si siku nyingine ni huyo mwingine atakaye wekwa kwenye mtihani kwenye mtihani katika biashara yako utawekwa kwenye mtihani katika doa yako utawekwa kwenye mtihani katika maisha ya watoto wako utawekwa kwenye mtihani katika mali ambayo Mungu amekupatia utawekwa kwenye mtihani katika maisha yako ya kibinafsi na utakapowekwa kwenye mtihani je utastahimili utasimama imani yako itasema siodoki hapa maana naamini ya kwamba utanitendea praise the name of the lord na wengine wetu tumewekwa kwenye mitihani wengine katika ile mitihani tumeweza kufaulu na kupita vizuri wengine wetu katika ile mitihani tumetingizwa tumetingizwa wengine tumeondoka wengine tumecompromise wengine tumenena maneno yanayomuudhi Mungu maana maneno huudhi Mungu akawaambia waisraeli waambie nimesikia kile wanachokisema na kama vile walivyonena wote wataishia hapa jangwani kama hivyo walivyosema maana Mungu anasikiza maneno yako na unapotiwa kwenye mtihani kuwa mwangalifu ni maneno gani unayoyataja waisraeli wakiwa jangwani wakatiwa kwenye mtihani katika ule mtihani wakamuudhi wakamgadhabisha Mungu wakamwambia ya kwamba heri ungeacha tukufie kule Misri naye Mungu akasema si mlitaka kukufa mtakufa praise the name of the lord na kwa hivyo there are some of us ambao matatizo na shida ambazo tutajipata ndani yake ni kwa sababu tuliingizwa kwenye mtihani tukayanena maneno kwenye masikio yake Mungu naye Mungu akasema nimesikia maneno yako na ulivyotaja ndivyo itakavyokuwa na kwa hivyo lazima uwe mwangalifu sana bwana asifiwe lazima uwe kesha lazima uwe macho kwa sababu utatiwa kwenye mtihani na utakapotiwa kwenye mtihani kama huyu mwanamke je utafanya nini utajihurumia utasema ya kwamba ni ukweli mimi ni kambwa kadogo na kambwa ka... ama utasema ah hata kama mbwa au mbwa wadogo wanapataka vigae vigae nipatie na Yesu akasema imani yako ni ku pokea kile unachokihitaji bwana asifiwe and her daughter was healed from that very hour praise the name of the lord brothers let us let us grow the stamina of our faith and you grow the stamina of your faith by studying this word seeking to understand god living a life devoted fully to him working with brothers and sisters who are an encouragement to your life unajua kuna watu natembea na wao kazi yao ni kushusha imani yako bwana asifiwe but you need to work with people whose testimonies build you you need to work with people who strengthen you you ought to, to work with people who who tell you that you can make it who speak like Jonathan who is speaking to David in the woods and he is telling him no you will make it you will get there i pray that god will help us to have such great faith because the day of testing will come the day of, and, 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 and don't be lied to maana the first teachers will lie to you watakwambia hiyo siku ya majaribu ni kwa sababu ya hili na lile kwa sababu ya jirani kwa sababu ya um, a relative ni kwa sababu ya fulani na kwa hivyo unahitaji you don't need money you don't need money you just need faith praise the name of the lord you just need faith that will keep you there at the feet of Jesus worshiping him and telling him i know i will receive from you praise the name of the lord siku yako ya mtihani ikifika naomba ya kwamba utaweza kufaulu bwana asifiwe tutaendelea siku ya jumapili tuweze kuomba baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunachukuru kwa sababu ya nafasi ya kulicheua na kulisoma na kulitafakari neno lako asante kwa sababu umeendelea kutuongoza vyema Tomba ya kwamba neno hili litakuwa na manufaa katika maisha yetu. Litatuongoza, litatuelekeza. Na katika kila kitu tunachokitekeleza, litakuwa ni kiegezo thabiti na ili tuweze kuwa washidi. Asante kwa sababu ya uaminifu wako. Tuendelee hapo na ibada, uwe pamoja nasi. Utubariki na utunenee. Tusikie sauti yako na yale unayohitaji kwetu. Tunakuinua na tunakusifu katika jina la Yesu Kristo, tumeomba na kuamini. Amen, amen. God bless you.